In Washington today, the Trump administration plans to brief congressional leaders on the military operation that killed General Soleimani. Defense Secretary Mark Esper and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo will defend President Trump's decision to target Iran's most influential military leader in response to an attack that killed a U.S. contractor in Iraq. The president insists Americans are now safer, while Democrats demand proof that the attack was necessary. Ben Tracy is at the White House. Ben, where do things stand now? Well, President Trump has promised to answer any retaliation from Iran with even more force. Meanwhile, the Democrats want to know what exactly was the imminent threat that led President Trump to order this strike on the Iranian general and what is his plan to avoid an all-out war. The American people need clarity that the Trump administration has a plan. President Trump did not notify Congress of his decision to kill Soleimani until the day after the strike. Democrats are now planning to force a vote on a new war powers resolution to restrain President Trump's ability to launch further military action against Iran unless Congress approves. Republican Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says Democrats are more interested in blaming President Trump than focusing on national security. Can we not maintain a shred, just a shred, of national unity for five minutes. But Republican yeah, Senator yeah, Rand Paul politics. said the killing of Soleimani is the death of diplomacy with Iran. You would have to be brain dead to believe that we tear up the agreement, we put an embargo on you, and we kill your major general, and they're just gonna crawl back to the table. President Trump defended himself on Monday, saying the United States is a lot safer now. We'll see what happens. We'll see what the response is, if any. But you've seen what I said our response will be. The president is threatening to strike 52 sites in Iran, including cultural ones, which would violate international law. But three senior administration officials either publicly contradicted Mr. Trump or said that he had not said what he said. Adding to the confusion Monday, the Pentagon circulated a letter announcing a withdrawal of U.S. forces from Iraq. But the Pentagon later said there is no decision to leave Iraq, and it was just a draft. It was a mistake, an honest mistake. Democrats called the disorganization a danger to national security. It says that there's mass chaos, that the Trump administration hasn't a clue about what it is doing. Now, that draft letter announcing a U.S. withdrawal from Iraq comes after the Iraqi parliament voted to kick U.S. troops out of that country. The Pentagon now claims it simply wanted to warn the Iraqis of U.S. troop movements in the area. Anthony. Ben, thank you.